Can you talk a little bit about different NP programs and what they focus on? Sure, sure. So, um, yeah, this particular program is primary care uh, mm -hmm. family nurse practitioner. So, you know, the hours in clinical are focused on primary care. There are some opportunities to do your clinical hours in specific specialties like women's health or cardiology, but it's not the majority of the hours. So that's important. And the didactic portion is also focused on that primary care. Um, other programs, uh, pediatric nurse practitioner uh, will be focused and you'll be certified in pediatrics. So the pediatric nurse practitioner wouldn't be able to work with adults, okay? okay. Family nurse practitioner, you can in fact work from cradle to grave. You can work in pediatrics, you can work with geriatrics. Um, you can even, in our state, you can work in acute care, but again, you're not certified in acute care. So you might see that down the road where there's going to be some um, doors closing for FMPs to work in acute care setting like the hospital setting. Right now you could, but in certain other states you can't do that. So it depends on the state you're with. Um, also nurse anesthesia, that's again a master's degree, working um, as an anesthesiologist. And um, there's a clinical nurse specialist and there's adult nurse practitioner, adult Jerry, where you could only see adults and no pediatrics. So it depends on the focus of that program. So make sure when you're looking into a program, what is the focus? What are the hours for clinical? How is it broken down? You want to make sure and you can keep an open mind. Like you said, you might specialize after. So I'm assuming you're going to keep an open mind with your clinical experiences that maybe Definitely. your interest may change. Yeah, I think PAs kind of have more of an opportunity for that to kind of uh, drag our feet in what we want to specialize in and then change, you know, five, 10 years down the road. With an NP, it's, it's kind of more of like an MD where once you do your specialty training, you really have to get retrained before you work with a different population. Well, you know, again, like a FMP could work in different specialties, right. but um, you're going to see down the road that it's going to be more specialized, like you said. Mm -hmm. And that brings me to a PA. You, you could work in the OR as a first assist, right? Yes. Okay, so we can't, we can work in the surgery department and see patients outpatient or inpatient, but we can't go into the OR as a first assist. But after we, after FMP graduates, they can go to a different program and get certified as a first assist after oh, they get their FMP. So there's another difference there. It's a big difference. Mm -hmm. I also didn't know that because, I mean, everything you hear as a student, so much is coming at you, you never know what to believe. So I've heard in a lot of like surgical settings, PAs are typically like first assist. We might do some inpatient, outpatient stuff, but mostly we're in the OR and NPs are mostly handling the clinic. Uh, but you said that you can get certified as an NP and also work in the OR. Yeah, we have an NP uh, that's uh, a faculty here and uh, he got his certification as a first assist. So he goes into the OR, he sees outpatient, he does everything. Okay. So yeah. What is the training involved? Like once you've already completed your NP training, you want to be a first assist. Is it like two months, six months, a year? I'm not sure exactly. It's, it's a few months. And then there's some clinical hours, of course, in the OR. You have to do so many hours um, in that role, of course. So I don't know the details, but um, it's less than a year. Okay. So it's, it's not insignificant, but it's definitely not like a whole nother two, three year degree. Exactly. Yeah. It's very okay. um, doable. Well, I definitely learned something. So if you want to be an NP, but then you decide you want to do surgery, you could always get that as well. And it's not, you know, a huge commitment to go do more training. So that's cool. Exactly. So another thing is if you're an FMP, you just graduated, took your boards, now you're practicing in internal medicine, then you decide you want to be a psychiatric nurse practitioner, you could go on for that certification. So you wouldn't have to do the whole program again. You do those specific oh. courses for that specialty, and then you'll sit for the psychiatric nurse practitioner boards. Okay. And those things basically just have everything that, like as an FNP, you didn't get trained for. So maybe it's a year or so, maybe six months, whatever the difference is. Exactly. Okay. Well, that makes sense. So I really didn't know that. You can kind of pick and choose. You just need a little bit more specialized training, which might actually be a good thing, to be honest with you. Yeah, because you have your core, your core classes, like your pathophysiology or pharmacology, mm -hmm. you know, you have those, some of those core classes. So if you do go on for another specialty, some of those will be transferable in. Does that make sense? It does. It's kind of reminding me of like a Girl Scout or a Boy Scout belt. You just get your badges and you can get like all these different trainings throughout your career and you can do all this different stuff. Yep, exactly. Well, that's kind of cool.